Are you ready for the dating update? It's been 10 days since my last update. I'm going to start doing it this more often because a lot of things can change, you know, in that short amount of time. I, don't, I wouldn't want you to be left out. So we're going to talk about um, update the dating statistics and my changed in tact and date management, some things that I've pondered. And uh, so I, from 21 to 42, I've had four relationships. Four serious, basically four relationships, serious not four. And, um, and then there's been like a nine month to a year break in between them. So I really have not dated, like really have not dated. The last two years ago, I was on match and I had eight dates and then the last one was my boyfriend. So the whole, that's why I do the single in Seattle because I really don't know. And um, so let's talk about, oh, let's not talk about that yet. <clears throat> I wanna talk about um, changing tact. So this is, um, last time when I was single, I've been single twice, and I thought, oh, I should meet, I should date somebody with a beard and crazy tattoos and like who does this really unusual job, and I should just go meet people, right? And of course, I have not done that. And I think about that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. But I should. I should meet people at least um, slightly different than me. And um, so I will. I think last time I talked about you know, be an ARP magnet and that still exists. So with match, I've been on there, I think two weeks. And what I do is I basically, I log into them and I just leave it on on my computer. I'm not active. I just, I'm there. So it looks like I'm active and lots of, um, 48 to 52 to 68 year olds message me. Um, and I'm like, well, I feel like I'm a young 42 and I'm quite athletic five miles a day. can do pull-ups and all that stuff. Um, so 50 is not, you know, not the age rack I'm looking into, but I don't know, right? I haven't, I haven't been on a date with a 50 plus year old, right? So I don't know. So I should go ahead and meet some 50 somethings. I'm also including you 48 year olds as well. Um, <clears throat> so I think it's more about if you don't know, can you really say you don't like 50 year olds, right? So I'm, I'll probably go that route and meet some people and the people I know, um, both friends, like all my friends, they sit behind desks. I mean, behind computers. That's who I know. I don't know people who work with their hands or who, um, I can't even think of other jobs. I just know people who are behind a computer. So I should meet people because I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, you know, I'm very judgy, so I don't, I should go ahead and explore and meet different people. So I get these bouts of inspiration like, oh yeah, I should. <laughs> And then I forget and then I go kind of go to what I'm used to and like, yeah, so, <clears throat> so go Jolene, go exploring. Uh, now let's talk about, um, dating statistics, 16 guys. I think that's the same amount of guys, 16 guys I've met, um, eight first dates and six second dates. Are you doing the math? <laughs> and then there's one on the 10th date. And I'll shortly go on a date uh, with, uh, you know, the same guy for my 11th date. So what does that mean, right? Normally, as an outsider, I would say, oh, well, you're, there's something there. Um, but I'm new to dating, and I know that people date more people, like, at the same time. I wouldn't consider that's what I'm doing, because I've had first dates and second dates. Um, uh, so this person is quite different from me. Like I'm used to people behind computers. He's not. Um, and just like a diff really different type of, uh, living. And so I don't know, again, I don't know what I don't know, um, because it's unfamiliar to me. <clears throat> so this guy is pretty awesome, but very different in like, so, um, exploring and I'm thinking, Hmm, well, Hmm. I feel like now's the time I should meet a lot of first dates and second dates. Um, to kind of, before I commit to something, you know what I mean? Like, um, I think we're both very different from each other. Like I'm probably, well, <laughs> whoever I'd be on a date with, I'm going to be very different from what they're used to, regardless of who they've been out with before. Um, so, so that's interesting because I know that there's people who like date multiple people, like for a while, maybe several months where they go out with them a bunch of times and have like several relationships um, at the same time, but they know about each other. Um, like that, that doesn't sound cool to me. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go that route, but I think um, meeting people, meeting a bunch of people is a good idea. 
So it'll be interesting. Um, what's cool about him, one of the cool things is that we communicate like, um, I would say not often, but very open with, um, oh, so who are you dating now, right? You know, in addition to me, sort of thing. That's what, so it's uh, pretty cool when you have great communication. So, so that's, that's interesting. Oh, another thing that I, this is just a little bit random. <clears throat> One of my new tactics is to, um, after messaging, you know, a couple times with a person that I probably won't meet, I'm in, I'm giving them my website, JolieneJang.com. Um, and one person who's a photographer and he was, he was messaging me, you know, pretty, um, messaging me quite a bit. Boom. After I sent my website, radio silence. I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think. There are five people who have my website now, and it seems to me that they're pretty like that's a, that's a good thing. Like they're excited about that, and it's um it's interesting to them, and that's nice because what I do for a living is what I'm passionate about, and um so you want you know I want my guy to be excited about that because that is who I am. So that's interesting. Okay, what's I gonna say? <clears throat> yeah, no, I think that's about it. Oh, I, oh, um, and if you're curious about my dating, so what I do for my dates typically in, in the last two months is walking dates, um, usually because I don't want to be distracted by some fun thing because I'm gonna have fun. If we do an activity, I will absolutely have fun. Um, but can they, can I have fun without them? by talk. So I would love to have fun. Um, but I want to be able to be like in a brick cell, uh, with nothing around for eight hours and just have a ball, you know, just talking about random things and Ted talks and travel and all of that. Now it's summertime and I actually do want to have fun and do a bunch of activities. So I may change that tact again. Um, so we'll see. And honestly, looking at the Seattle departments, um, I think it's parks, parks department. I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to fit dating. And there's like all, like all this dancing and live concerts and like, you know, game night in the park and, and all, movies in the park and all these things. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to have, I'm, I'm going to have time for dates unless they want to do some of these things with me. So, um, don't know how that's going to work out, but whatever. Anyway, um, Help a girl so out. Seriously, and I'll do it. Do a date. Won't you?